Good morning friends, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It feels so good to be picking up my vlogging camera. Right now, I honestly have just woken up in a fantastic mood. I'm feeling so on top of the world, which is such a 360 to how I was feeling last week. Hence there being no upload, I apologize. I was in the trenches last week. I was going through it. Why? couldn't tell you. I think it was just one of those weeks where my mental health really, really took a hit. It just felt like life was against me and my brain was just spiraling every single day. I tried to not isolate myself as much as possible. I'm very good at isolating myself when I know that I need help and I don't want it, but I really tried my best to hang out with a lot of my friends, which was such a blessing and honestly, <laughs> probably wouldn't be feeling this good if I didn't have those friends helping me through last week and I'm feeling so incredibly good. I've already woken up this morning and done two really hard things that I've been putting off for way too long. I've needed to make a doctor's appointment for a really long time. One, to get a new mental health care plan because we all know about my whole therapist situation. So I need a new mental health care plan. I'm officially 25, so I need a pap smear. Oh. Like, that's just awful, but uh, it need, needs to happen. And I also am due for my yearly skin check. So I finally rang up and booked that. I also had to call my gas company. Awesome. So let's do email. And sort out some stuff there. So that is all done. Like, two really hard phone calls. Done first thing on a Monday morning. Like, nothing can stop me. I've gotten dressed. I'm ready for the gym. I feel like my heart is racing really fast. <laughs> but equally, every part of me wants to have pre-workout right now. Maybe I'll mix some stim free and some normal. Mango passion and watermelon. Surely that'll be a good flavor combo. Bye, I love you. Do you ever just feel like the drive to the gym sometimes isn't long enough to listen to all of the songs that you want to? I think I'm just in a big like song era at the moment. I'm obsessed with so many and I just need them injected into my veins because I can't get enough of them, you know? I'm hyped, surprisingly. It's a strange concept. One of my favorite things about having so much of my life online is the fact that I get to just watch back old clips with me and my friends. I don't know what, oh, I saw something on TikTok about attachment styles and I was like, I can't remember what my attachment style is. And then I remember that Soph and I did the quiz while baking on her channel. So I went back and found the video and why am I like cackling at us talking absolute smack for like 20 minutes in this vlog? <laughs> Anyway, I want to sit down and thank Princess Polly for sponsoring this portion of this weekly vlog. We all know how obsessed I am with Princess Polly's curve range, and so I have a big package of clothes to show you. I'll leave links, sizes, any information you need to know down below. My current discount code is GR20, and that will save you 20% off. First off, the hoodie that I'm wearing right now, I am obsessed with it. I really have been leaning in, Winston. <laughs> I've really been leaning into wearing more colorful and bright colors recently. Colorful colors? Sure. And this hoodie is literally just perfect. I sized up. It is so big and comfy. It's so soft on the inside. The neckline, I'm a big fan of. I feel like a lot of hoodies have really small neck holes and they overstimulate me. I feel like they're choking me all the time. But so far, this hoodie has not felt like it's choking me and I really, really appreciate that. Speaking of blue, I got a cap. Oh, <laughs> obviously. I probably wouldn't wear this with a blue hoodie, but I want to be a cool hat girly. I want to channel my Sarah Baker from Cheaper by the Dozen. Isn't it kind of cute? I love the font that the writing is in, and I just, I feel cool. Obviously, different colored jumper. Tell me I look like Sarah Baker, please. <laughs> I also got this bag. I've been going over to my manager's house too many times a week recently and I just feel like I have to take my whole life with me and I've just been using like my gym bag and like random tote bags and just like throwing everything in but I wanted a cuter like handbag but bigger vibe for when my outfit actually looks good so I picked up this one. It has a little clip at the top which is stunning and on the inside it has a little zip here as well for you to put in important things that you don't want to lose. This will just fit my laptop, my water bottle, my camera, my plate 
planner, anything I need. I got three dresses in this package, which I'm so excited about. It is still winter and quite chilly, but did I get a summery short little dress? Yeah, I did, and we're not gonna talk about it. Um, literally so cute. It actually fits me like a glove. Like it's almost very hard to get up because the zip is right here. So I'm twisting and turning. But once I'm in, she's in and it fits like a glove. Chuck on some slides. Wait. These slides from Princess Polly. I wear these all the time and I chuck them on with everything, but especially fun little summery dresses. I also feel like you could pair this with like docks and a blazer and make it a little winter outfit and just have the legs out. It's so cute. I love it. I feel like this dress is really out of my comfort zone and not my usual style at all. So let me try it on. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Oh, this is so different for me, but I think I love it. I'm obsessed with the deep V neckline. I feel like that's just so flattering. I also refuse to wear a bra 90% of the time and I feel like this dress really allows for it which is gorgeous. <laughs> I was a bit scared when I put it on because it was just kind of like sitting on me but then I tied up this little bit here and it really just like took it all back and now it fits so well. It's giving a sweet innocent lovely milf like Miss Honey from Matilda. <laughs> no? No. And I feel like it's giving me a little bit of shape, but like not too much. Like I don't want my whole body on display, but I do want like a little bit of cinching in. I feel like this dress has done that. I'm shocked at how much I like this. It's so comfortable as well. <laughs> me. I don't want my whole body on display get some bodycon dress. I don't know what came over me. To be fair, I saw Riley Hempson modeling it and she could sell me on literally anything. Let me just put it on. Okay, I'm really not used to wearing tight dresses, but I think that the neckline on this dress really sold me. I think it's so flattering. I'm not wearing a bra and the dress is tight enough to just hold the girls in which is perfect. And the little sleeves I think are so cute. I love just having the big open area having the decolletage out. I mean it's just a classic little black dress. Like I, there's not much else to say about it. I'm a really big fan of this. The neckline is really just so cute. Believe it or not I did get another pair of archer pants. I know. I know I have too many. But this is a new colour in the curve range and I just couldn't. I couldn't not. How cute. It's a nice little like beige like a darker beige color with white pinstripes on it. I don't have any pinstripe pants. I'm gonna try it on with this little two-piece top moment. I've already worn this so much since I got the package because I love it so much. It's just this little strapless boob tube with a matching bolero. As a set, it's just so nice. It looks like you put more effort into your outfit than you actually did. I think this is my favorite outfit I've tried on so far. Probably because it's the most me. But this top, I'm just obsessed with it. It's so comfortable. Again, maybe it's the decolletage and like whole chest being on show. I don't know. But I think it's so cute that it looks like a top, but it's like two parts. It's detached. <laughs> and these archer pants are the best fitting archer pants that I own. I'm obsessed with the color. I've popped on the Black Princess Polo slides as well. I feel really cool, which is my favorite way to feel because I am the least cool person you'll ever meet. So we'll make up for that with a cool outfit. The last thing I got is this hoodie. How do I get this off? How have I gotten off before? What size did I get this in? A 22, so one size up. Oh, that was a bit of a tighter neck than the blue one, I won't lie. Um, yeah, that's so good. I love it paired with these pants. <laughs> got the embroidered darker green Princess Polly logo on the front. I feel like you can never have too many gray staple hoodies, you know? Wait, let me try on the hat with a different colored hoodie. I'm committed to this hat cause. You need to hold me accountable, but I'm gonna be a hat wearer. Is that better? Do I look cool? Like, don't lie to me and tell me that I, it looks cool, but please, like, tell me it looks cool. Ugh. No, I think I like it. I just need to just rock it without looking at myself for too long, you know? Anyway, <laughs> that is everything that I picked up from Princess Polly. Again, everything will be linked down below. GR20 is my current discount code. Thank you again to them for sponsoring this weekly vlog. I think I'm going to keep on the arch pants and the black bolero fit, and I'm going to go meet up with Lang. We're going to go out for a coffee. We need to go to Pacific Fair and run some errands. Is it too hot for pants and a long sleeve? That's my question. I'll figure that out and then we'll go and I'll update you later.
basically pop in and explain what the hell Lang and I are doing in the car right now. We got stuck in like two hours of traffic coming home from Brisbane. So we decided to play a game where we shuffle my Just Taylor Swift playlist that has every Taylor Swift song ever in it. And we had to try and guess the first words of the song before it started. And I am very good with lyrics. I feel like it's one of my strong suits, but I found it so hard and it was so funny. So if you don't like Taylor Swift, skip to the time on the screen right now. But also if you're stuck in the car with your friends for a really long time, it's such a fun game to play for whichever artist you guys both enjoy. So enjoy Lang and I being so chaotic and annoying. <laughs> Next, we're skipping. Next, oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I need to focus. Does it literally start with hey Steven? Hey Steven, I've been hey Steven, I can not to be deceiving. Ooh, a vault. We used to walk a good job. It's so hard. Oh, oh, what a shame she's fucked in the head. Um, took the. I trained for a reason. Oh, oh, please. please, please. <laughs> Picture. <laughs> Damn, I thought I'd be. Oh. Oh. I don't like your drinks and game. I don't <laughs> like your drinks. As soon as it starts, game. I'm like, yes. Yes. Oh. oh. Say goodbye is death by a thousand cuts. This is a banger. Yeah. No. Oh. Wait. No. Wait. A <laughs> damn minute. I always skip this song. Said the way my blue eyes shined. Why can I Those never know it before? Oh. I say it's too late. I say it's too late. That's an easy one. Oh my god. Actually, misery. Actually, faithfully. <laughs> Pick my battles till the battles picked me. Ugh. Next. We're, we're all. On the right. we're, we're all. We're all. We're all. Boy, oh, that, you, you almost had that. Damn it. Oh, here you go. I am not the kind of girl. Winston and I've just been on my phone and my laptop just working. I shouldn't have been working later because now my brain's gonna be spiraling thinking about work while I'm trying to fall asleep but I do get a lot of work done which is kind of stunning. The more I do today the less I have to do tomorrow it's just like a ripple effect but I'm trying to convince myself to jump in the shower right now. <laughs> do you ever feel like right before you get in the shower that you've never looked better? Like I know I'm looking in the camera right now I'm like I don't know I don't look that good but for some reason looking in the mirror I'm like yeah I look great and I don't want to shower it off you know. Also just because I'm looking at it right now so bought me Santa 33 the perfume for my birthday. Why is this maybe like one of my most prized possession it smells so good oh my god i'm convinced that if a woman hugged me wearing this i would fall in love instantly because it smells so good and i'm hoping it'll have that effect on me surely and the lid just like magnets on it's got like a little magnet it's so satisfying to take on and off it smells like the best man you've ever smelled but a bit feminine <laughs> if that makes sense go into mecca and smell it if you don't know what i'm talking about it's so good it's all over this shirt right now and I can smell it on myself all the time and like has it boosted my confidence because now I'm like attracted to myself potentially I'm not mad about it I need to get in the shower I don't want to also I messaged a tattoo place today about getting another tattoo I just love my tattoos so much and I feel like I never see them which means I want more I never see my fearless one back here and I love it so much and I see my rainbow every now and then um and I just want more so I've been quiet about getting one here on my arm I have no pants on so I have to be careful right here script <gasps> The thing is, I'm not 100% sure what lyrics I want. Winston, please don't bark. I have a few lyrics in my notes app that really, like, I hold dear to my heart that mean a lot that I think would look good there and I just can't choose which one. 
stressed and it's one of those things that's like i can ask everyone's opinion but like when it comes down to it it's gonna be on my body so i should decide for myself but i'm so bad at making decisions on my own i think that no matter what i got i'd be happy with it but it still feels like a huge decision obviously it's a tattoo it is a huge decision but i want to be a cool tattoo girly and i feel like my tattoos have made me like love myself more like boosted my confidence which we love to see anyway not important i'm rambling i'm gonna turn the shower on so i have to get in Okay, I hate showers. I'm currently reading Magnolia Parks. I know, crazy, riveting stuff. I wanted to talk about it though because I feel like everyone I've seen talk about this book either absolutely hates it or is absolutely obsessed with it. A lot of people that I know or follow love it. It's like one of their favorite books or like series. So I was really nervous going into it. I was scared that I was not gonna like it and I would like disappoint them, but I'm almost halfway through the first one. So like, I shouldn't even have an opinion yet. Oh, you're coming to say hello. Where are you going? Oh, thanks, baby. You just wanted to be a part of the chats, didn't you? You had to sit back a little. Can you lie down? I was trying to say, I'm almost halfway through and I'm not hating it, but I'm not absolutely like obsessed. Like nothing has happened. My friends keep being like, what's happened? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing but i think that's the point like there's no plot at least in this one i've heard i'm enjoying reading the physical book though because it's so floppy i love it and i also am just loving owning my own physical books recently because i can just chuck them wherever i don't really care if they like look good or like stay pristine i'm cracking the spine i'm dog earing it and it doesn't matter because it doesn't affect anyone else which is refreshing i'm on chapter 24 i'm gonna read this for a little while i don't think my eyes will stay open for very much longer i need to go to sleep so i'm gonna read and i'll talk to you tomorrow single part of my soul and being that wanted to do that session i'm actually hobbling in the car park i'm actually really not well I'm not doing well that's the other day i'm back in my car looks like i never left but i went home from the gym had lunch and then i just hit an absolute wall and i've just been so tired today for no reason like i'm on my period but i don't feel like that's the reason why i got enough sleep like i don't know i've been taking my eye in <laughs> i have convinced myself to come for an afternoon swim to try and make myself feel better i really didn't want to like get changed and get out of my house but i knew i would feel 10 times better for it so i've just gone to talabodra creek 10 minutes before the sun sets i'm gonna win for a quick dip i know it's gonna be freezing and it's kind of windy today i don't know if you can see the tree moving a little so i feel like it's gonna be a very quick dip <laughs> I've done this once before, but I brought with me car washing supplies. I'm hoping that I'm going to feel way better after the swim and then I'm going to like have the energy to do so. But I want to take my car to the self-serve car wash and give it a quick wash and vacuum. It is so dirty. While I'm in my hooded towel and like wet, I'm going to go to the car wash and just quickly get it done and then grab some dinner on the way home and have a cozy little night in. Look how pretty the sky is behind me. It's definitely very cold out here, but the sky is so pretty, so I have to. verdict is that I feel 10 times better and I'm so glad that I did that. Isn't it funny that I always have the same outcome and it's always hard to convince myself to get here but once I'm here it was so good. It's actually not that cold once I got in. I love that so much and literally no one is here. One girl came in for a quick dip. Other than that complete ghost town. It's definitely cold out of the so I'm gonna put my jumper back on. Hello friends. I've had the best day today. I was talking to a friend about how I feel like I'm becoming more of an extrovert the older that I get and I guess I hadn't really thought about it but I guess it makes sense that as you go through life and change and evolve as a person you may change being an extrovert to an introvert being an introvert to an extrovert an ambivert whatever because I feel like I've been an introvert my whole life I've always needed a fair amount of alone time to like recharge and get my energy back but I feel like this year I've needed less and less alone time and I've been like 
like craving more time with people than I ever have. And honestly, I feel like it was easier being an introvert. <laughs> it took me a long time to get comfortable in my alone time and like spending quality time with myself. But I feel like I'm very comfortable with myself. I'm very happy spending time alone. And now I just want to spend all of my time with all of my friends and people around me. And it just fills my cup up so much. I spent pretty much all day today with friends working, chilling out, going out for dinner. And it was so good. I'm good, how are you? This morning, I feel like I could have kept sleeping for 10 more hours this morning. I don't really know what's going on. I feel like this week I've just been so tired. I'm just gonna fully blame it on my period because there's nothing else that makes sense. While I'm getting eight hours of sleep and my eyes are stinging when I finally get out of bed. But I'm getting ready because I'm driving into Brisbane this morning. I'm meeting up with my friend Naomi and we're getting soldered bracelets, permanent bracelets. I feel like every place has a different name for them, but I got this one a couple weeks back from Rebellious Grace and I love it so much. And then my friend Naomi was like, oh, I've been to this place before. I want another one from there. Do you want to come? I was like, yes, I do. So I'm going to get one on this wrist. I think I'm going to get like a thicker one because this one's so dainty. I feel like it'd be nice to have a thicker one on the other wrist. Kind of fun. But I've never driven to Brisbane on a Saturday morning. So I'm hoping that I've accounted enough time for traffic and I'm not late. We'll have to see. I also need to pack my gym bag because I'm going to go straight from Brisbane to the gym and then home. So I'm not coming home and disturbing Winnie. I keep leaving all of my sessions till the end of the week. And it's really annoying because I've chosen to have my rest days at the start of the week, but that means that like for the rest of the week, I just have to get my sessions done when I say I do, which is good to hold me accountable, but I don't like not having the choice. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, I bought a sponge yesterday. My old sponge is so moldy, so I haven't been using it, obviously. So I've been using my fingers or a brush and I just, I really, really miss having a little sponge. Look how huge that just got. Just like tripled in size. Winston is unmaking my bed, getting back in it. Excuse me. <laughs> What are you doing in there? He's been sleeping in my bed a fair amount recently just because it's quite lonely living alone and he surprisingly isn't annoying me in bed. But last night I was feeling quite overstimulated so he slept in his crate and he was fine. I was kind of a little bit scared for a second there that he'd get too used to my bed and not be able to sleep in his crate anymore but I feel like maybe crate training never goes away. I don't know. But he slept like a peaceful little angel and so did I. It was a win-win. Wow, I love this sponge. This is the Mecha Max brand sponge. I really rate it. I took Winston out with me when I went out for dinner last night with Lang and Pete and we were standing in the GYG line through line through? <laughs> Sure. Standing in the GYG line to order and this police officer lady walks up to me and I'm like, am I not allowed to hold a dog inside this store? Like, am I about to get in trouble or something? And she was like, can I say hi to your dog? And I was like, first of all, love a woman in uniform. Second of all, of course. And of course, Winston's lapping it up. He's wagging his tail. He's loving the interaction. <laughs> He's making friends in high places. You know what I mean? And then she was telling me all about her dog. She was like, oh, do you take your dog everywhere? I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> Because last night was the first time I'd taken Winston anywhere in quite a long time. And it just is because I had to. I couldn't leave him at Lang's place. Why we went out for dinner and he was already there. So he came with us. Honestly, he did really well. He's so good in public. Like he's a literal angel until he sees a dog. Like he sat beside us the whole time while we're eating dinner, like a little angel just sitting there. A dog walks past, demon, like he loses his mind. Also while we're shopping yesterday, we went into Sephora. And every time I go into Sephora, I just double check if they have any rare beauty blushes in stock. And they did. I've wanted Happy for a really long time, but they didn't have it. And I feel like this is quite similar. And I tried it on and I feel like it really complimented me. And it lasted on me for so long yesterday. I can't open it. Oh my God, the packaging is so cute. If I could show you. Oh my gosh. Like, look at that. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? This is in the shade Bliss. I'm kind of scared to put it on because you really don't need much at all. My issue with blush is I just feel like it disappears so quickly. Okay, well, I feel like that all just went into the sponge. Why do I feel like I could put more on? Is that me being excessive? Okay, I think I should stop. <laughs> also, when I went to the gym yesterday, I remembered that the song Lip Gloss by Lil Mama existed. And I kind of had it on repeat. And then I saw on Spotify that some random person, I have no idea who they are, has made a playlist called My Lip Gloss is Poppin' with a bunch of songs that give this similar vibe and energy. And that playlist was the only thing that got me through my workout. It is so good and I've kind of been listening to it non-stop. I'm gonna concentrate when I'm getting ready so I'm not late. Give me one second. Okay, makeup is done. The blush is blushing, which we love to see. Let's go get a bracelet, I'm so excited.
just wanted to pop in and end off this vlog thank you so much for watching it was a long one so if you made it to the end i really appreciate it it feels so good to be feeling back to myself again and i feel like this vlog really shows it because i'm just chatting and having a new time and i'm so happy to be here i'm so grateful for you for being here too so i love you so much and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye